I love teapots, but um, if it's got to be for the toy collection, it's got to be quirky ones. And some of the quirky ones are very small ones. Here's a, probably the best example of them. This one was made, it's made of um, cast metal uh, by a chap I met several years ago and got several toys from him. It says that on, on the front of the teapot, it's, it's good, good, good old metal. But when you lift up the top, you see a figure inside who wants to drink something and you make it operate, would you leave by winding the spout. What an extraordinary idea. So here we go, I'll wind the spout and he'll operate. And he'll lift up the mug to his face to have a sip of tea. What an extraordinary idea. Alice in the Wonderland never had this at the tea party. Very, very well depicted and the movement is so beautiful. And it's all done by winding it. So that's probably the best of the miniature ones. The other two I've got are wind-ups, which are, well, they should have gone to the old people's home because they're all getting a bit arthritic, unfortunately. One was on wheels and one moved on little legs like that. When you do this, nothing much happens there. That, but this one was a waddler like that. This other one was rather more fun because it's got little wheels to make it go and it rocks slightly from side to side. But this is the effect on the look at the lid when it opens and closes. That is very sweet. Now I can hear a little noise going up the camera, the microphone. It's making a little flip, 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 flip noise as it does it. Very cheerful, and both of them have got faces, which is nice too. So fun to do. Just wish they hadn't um, got such heavy arthritis, but there we are. That's what happens to the old wind-up toys. But I'm glad this one is going. This this one this one should keep going for ooh, centuries to come yet. 